Some were destroyed in battle. Others weren't completed. Some are laid up and can only dream about battles. But now, they're getting a new lease of life. We recreate ships accurately, according to their historical blueprints, and send them into battle. World of Warships, Dry Dock. Cruiser Alaska was designed to hunt down Japanese heavy cruisers. She had powerful armament, a high top speed, and she enjoyed the support of the President of the USA, Franklin Roosevelt, at the early stage of her preliminary design. By the end of the 1930s, the Washington-London Treaty, which limited naval armament, had basically crumbled. It was reported that the Japanese were designing some fast, super-heavy cruisers, and Germany commissioned the Scharnhorst-class battlecruisers into service. U.S. Naval Command anticipated that a war would soon break out and decided to restock their navy with new ships that could outperform the latest heavy cruisers of their potential enemies, and that would be capable of reliably destroying the Washington cruisers. In 1940, the design was approved. Due to its unusual combination of characteristics, it required a separate special type to be introduced, large cruisers. Ships of this type have high speed and very powerful armament for cruisers, but lack the armor of battleships. Alaska, being the lead ship of the series, gave the class her name. However, only two ships were built out of six ordered. Guam was the second. Alaska's main battery comprised nine 305 mm guns placed in three turrets. The Mark VIII was the most powerful gun of that caliber in service in the history of the US Navy. The gun was designed specifically for use on large cruisers and was mounted on the Alaska-class ships only. It was capable of sending a 517-kilogram super-heavy armor-piercing shell across distances of up to 35 kilometers. The shell had better armor penetration against horizontal armor and the same penetration against vertical armor as the 356mm main battery shells of standard pre-war US battleships. By the time cruiser Alaska had entered the Navy at the beginning of 1945, she had no worthy opponents to pit her strength against. The super-heavy Japanese cruisers that had raised concerns prior to the war were never constructed, while any other large ships had almost all been destroyed. This was why the Americans used high-speed Alaska, with her relatively powerful AA defenses, to support fast-moving aircraft carrier task forces. The ship also took part in the operations to capture Iwo Jima and Okinawa. The only real combat success the ship achieved happened in March of the same year, when she shot down two Japanese airplanes. In 1947, cruiser Alaska was excluded from the Navy and laid up. In 1958, the USA wanted to remake her into a missile cruiser. However, due to the high expense of the project, it was cancelled. Two years later, Alaska was sold for scrap. In World of Warships, Alaska appeared as a Tier 9 premium cruiser at the beginning of 2019. She stands out among other cruisers by her good HP pool, powerful AA defenses, and the significant damage her high explosive and armor-piercing shells can inflict.